big kickoff to the 2021 uh, darting year, the ninth staging of the Masters, and as you said, the first tournament since 2014 with a brand new world number one, Galloway Price, back in action on Saturday night. But for now, it's Ian White, one player who had a really disappointing world championship against uh, Mencius Solovic, who possibly disappointed at the World Championship in his defeat to Gary Anderson, that controversial night at the Ali Pali. We'll get Chris Mason's views on that as the game goes on, I'm sure. Premier League a spot up for grabs. That will be announced by the PDC uh, at the end of the Masters. And we'll just see what unravels over the weekend here in Milton Keynes. Twelve months ago, a packed crowd here saw Peter Wright edge out Michael Smith the last leg decider in the final what dramas will we witness in the Masters 2021 Chris Mason yeah, it was a month to, to remember to for Peter Wright of course wasn't it lifting game the on. world title and a month later lifting this one will Pricey have that in the back of his mind but talking of a, a bad world championship for Ian White this tournament's not been good to him this is his seventh 85. appearance and yet to win a game. Shocker. And Absolutely. His head-to-head -head record against Mensa is also fairly poor in TV title or TV performances. He's played five, lost all five, th played three times 100. on the Euro Tour and lost all of those as well. So it doesn't bode well for the Diamond. Yeah, I mean, that was, was well, that disappointing to world championship yet again another 42 uh, failure i think it's the only way to put it that's why he will be disappointed lost to kim hybrex 3-1 despite an average of 102 and yeah i mean that's that's the thing couldn't I mean, get the job done 100. i mean kim played beautifully um but ian white yet again in a big average but on the wrong end and it's happened far too often he seems to bring the best out of players. Yeah, White seventh consecutive Masters lost in the first round of the previous six. Of course, all those games when we've had a field of 16, and we start with the the format, the best of 19. So, all these to remind you: these first round games featuring players in the world ranked number nine to 24. The big guns, the top eight coming into the tournament on Saturday. Yeah, I think it's been a good introduction. I wouldn't mind seeing it somewhere. It's stretched to 32 maybe and, and getting it right. 180! Didn't have to wait long for our first 180 of this year's tournament. The first of many, no doubt. Ninety-nine. Ian, you require 180. Well, both players will be keen to to have a good tournament to set them off and running for the remainder of the year. Oh, they're both. 128. Well, Mensi require 144. With a 136. 144 Mensor. So Ian White will come back for double four. 100. Ian, you require eight. Double two. Game shot the first leg. Make it feel Second leg, Mensa. A whole lot better in the opening leg. Game in on. the end, the maximum making the difference. One up. A break after five. First two. Uh, six to go through, of course, to play Nathan Aspinall. 40. In the second round. 17 dart hold a throw there for Ian White. Should set them into the match now. 140. Got to mention our old colleague John Gwyn. I think everyone will wish him all the best. John has started treatment for the cancer at Christie's Hospital in Manchester this week. And, and we're all thinking of you, John.
he'll be watching. Eighty-five. The professor certainly will be. Well, I've got to ask you. We mentioned that controversial uh, match against Gary Anderson uh, at the World Championship. Anderson eventually winning. 4-3, I think yeah, he did. Memory does serve me right. He won the last six legs to win the match, but it was uh, shrouded in controversy with with Mensor's uh, odd, should we say, antics or tactics of the stage. Yeah, ultimately it backfired because when he was throwing at his regular pace, he was actually throwing quite well and was causing Anderson all sorts of problems, but... He would then go back to what can only be described as deliberate slow play to put his opponent off and well, he didn't perform anywhere near to the level he he played whilst playing normally well this is this is Mensa's proper pace isn't it yeah 100 looking good to hold 63. throw only 12 darts thrown possible 14 dart it Trouble 13, that leaves 50. And that leaves double seven. Well, well, we've got the there in the end. Leg, Let's Let's see. 63 take it out like that very often. <laughs> well, you never know with Mensa. He's far from conventional, that's for sure. A steady start from both. Both players averaging 95. And bits, one apiece, two holds a throw, evenly matched. 140. Well, Mensor has slipped down to number 21 in the world. For a disappointing year or so. It's a long time since he's been that low. That low. Yeah. 43. I mean, his big win come at the Players' Championship Finals, didn't it? Which is, of course, a, not a ranked event. So it shows you how well he has been playing. He has lost his way the last 12 or 18 months. 134. And if he's anything, you would think if he's... Anything but rock solid against Ian White. He'll be there for the taking. At the moment. 140. He's looking. Oh, decent would be an understatement. Yeah, much better this from Mencio. I mean, like, like, like you, I mean, I found it all very strange. I was commentating on that, on that game at the Alexandra Palace. It was uncomfortable, lot. So, uh, uncomfortable to watch. I think the controversy came from, you know, people trying to justify his actions. One hundred and thirty-five. I think that's what Mensi required. One hundred and twenty-one. The, the viewing public, especially if you, you know, tracked what was said on social media. And bullseye for a twelve-dart break of throw. Eighty-five. Well, it's a, a handy miss. 49. Yeah. Left double 18. He doesn't mind it over there. So a bit of pressure on Ian White to hold throw. 43. It does reduce his options, I wonder. 33. It does. So a chance here for Solovich to break. Yeah, I mean, it's all about, about opinions. I mean, what, whatever way you look at it. For me, Mencia was just wrong. And he got it wrong. And he paid the price. Double nine. Oh, is that a good guide for him? Ian White has his back turned. Game shot on the third leg. No, no, no. But he's lost the leg. So that four breaks on double nine. And goes two one in front. Got, you know, it's got to stop somewhere. And every time there's been an issue like this, whatever's gone on with PDC darts over the years, they've stepped up reintroduced a new rule 58. and got rid of it 
you were very vociferous on listening to a couple of podcasts you did after the Ali Pali and you were very vocal in what you thought of, of what Mansour did. Yeah, I just I just don't think it's uh, I just don't think it's right. I don't think it sets a a particularly good example for, for players coming through that you know what we see in sport, you see it in football, we've seen it in, in, in in many individual sports that you know you you, you can only see the impact to say Gezi Price and you watch the young players before you know all this goes on and you see them at local tournaments and they're already giving it the you know the big fist pump and everything else and that's just a you know that's sort of directly influenced of what, of what they they see on the hockey 60 And, and for me, Mintz is a better player than that. He doesn't need to doesn't need to get involved in, in that kind of thing. Fifty-eight. And ultimately he put himself off. One hundred and thirty-four. Yeah, need some good darts here. Ian White, Adrian Lewis, Peter Wright twice, Rob Cross, Michael Smith, Gary Anderson, all beating Ian White in the first round of the Masters. The man who promises so much on the floor, but very rarely delivers on the big TV stages. Will that change in 2021? I wonder. Well, we had a, a season of a fair few first-time winners, didn't 85. we? Eighty-five. Mensi require one hundred and continue. Players like Michael Smith and Ian White and Joe Cullen, etc., may lay their hands on the big trophy for the very, very first time in 2021. Double sixteen for three-one. Games from the fourth Never in doubt for me for the moment the first travel went in. in first. And that's the proper Mensur Sulovic. Mensur. Well, his finishing has been impressive, hasn't it, Stu? Yeah. Three from six, 50%. The 104 there. The first proper double, if you like. Yeah, he's wheeled off the last three Seven legs in yep, 15, 15, and 18. We've had double seven, double nine. <laughs> It's typically meant to. Yeah. Semi finals here in 2018. Mensu lost to Van Barnevelt. The same Van Barnevelt is going to Q School in Germany. 145. So they, they're definitely announcing the 10th Premier League spot then af after this event or after Q School? Well, I think my understanding is it'll be made 140. Uh, but we shall see. I think Dave Chisnell's got to be in the box seat as it stands. Well, well uh, unless someone comes out of the pack and wins this one, but... Uh, well, it might actually, Chris, we might actually be back to the UK Open. Well, now that it's back to yeah, a month's because time, the, yeah. because we may get a surprise winner there, and then that'll really <laughs> put the cat amongst the pigeons. What we do know is it'll be... Barneveld, if he gets a talk, I'm not money, Jim. 60. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> well, initially, I know they were going to announce it after the after the Masters, but obviously the, the start of the Premier League has been pushed back. I mean, the big hope is, and you know, the hope for everyone, that we get back to some sort of normality Absolutely. in the next few months after Easter and into the spring and early 55. summer. And I think the PDC is an absolutely the right thing in, in pushing back the start of uh, the Premier League. So hopefully, uh, fans will be back in business. I certainly hope so. One hundred. Because after the UK Open, Mace, you've got a chance. You did promise last year you were going to enter, but oh, of course there's no Riley's qualifiers. No Riley's qualifiers, so that's out the window. Lucky them. Yeah, that got you out of the hole. Fifty-five. <laughs> Ian, you require one hundred and thirty-one. Well, he needs this. We don't want to go into our first break. Four one down. That's for sure. Sets up tops, so all Sulevich can do is apply a bit of pressure and hope. Ninety-two. Ian, you require forty. 
And after losing three legs on the spin, got to go for Mr. White. That's an important dart, it really is, and you can see the reaction on the face of Ian White. Stays in it, without a shadow of a doubt, he's a breakdown. Mentor with the advantage of the scoreboard. Away here in Milton Keynes with the Masters, extended from 16 to 24 players. So we have the world number nine through to 24 playing Six tonight to, throw first. to stay in the game tournament on. for the weekend. Nathan Astrall awaits the winner of our first game. And Mencio Solovich with the advantage, with a break of throw. And six legs. You 100. Are a winner on the opening night. You're in favour of increasing the field to 24. Yeah, I'd love to see it to go to 32. I have a session this afternoon. Top 28 in the world, four 16. qualifiers when things are back to normality and, and rank it and um, yeah, put it on the rankings. Seems a seems to have a waste to have such a big event for it not to go towards the order of merit. On the flip side, though, then it doesn't become the Masters, does it? It's it's a it's a fine. A fine balance, the top 16, and extending it by eight. 140. Gives people a chance, I don't know. Now the game's grown so much in terms of strength and depth since its introduction. Any problem having 32 players in, in this one? Top 32 is absolutely laden with quality. 60. I like it when we disagree. As long as it's respectful. <laughs> How do I turn this? <laughs> 100. I've turned you down already. <laughs> yeah, you did it once already. Yeah, no. I did notice. Yeah, it's been very much MVG's tournament over the years, winning it in 59. 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Tough couple of years for the Green Machine. 145. Uh, like Aspinall, you just mentioned, Stu. Both using new darts in yes, this they tournament. Are. Yeah. Michael and uh, Nathan. What a brilliant 145 that was from Ian White to leave 56. Well, Mencio must have fancied that. 122. That's a great break, break back Ian opportunity. Yeah. A break he must get. Two darts at tops. Biggest dart of the match so far. 46. Well, there has been his Achilles heel. He just misses the odd 20. double here and, here, here and there and tends to pay the ultimate price. Misses them at, at the important moments. Just gets really a pay bit that tight. price. Game from the sixth leg. And there's your answer. Don't stick on it there. The Did. Game on. Mints it. 17 dart hold of throw. Two darts at a double there for Ian to yeah. break back. He will feel it should be three apiece. 180. Second one of the match. Both to Ian White. Gerwin Price, a worthy world champion, a new world number one for you, Stu. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Incredible, hasn't yeah. he, the last Just a well, point couple of years. That we'll be making later, 100. commentating on Joe Cullen against Stephen Bunting. Uh, last back to the nine, it should be a terrific game. When Bunting won the Lakeside in 2014, he was crowned the Lakeside world champion. 140. Four days later, Gerwin Price tipped up at Wigan for Q School at the behest of his friend Barry Bates 140 so give well, the him a go and he, did and he, he, <laughs> he won a tour card but he literally went to Q School four days after bunting one in Lakeside and you know, it's, it's a fantastic story it's not just a darting story it's a sporting story and Gallowin Price worthy world number one he despite all the controversies of the past Without doubt, a worthy world champion.
probably go for the ball. He will, of course. 56. 140, Sullivan. Yeah, well within his scope, that's for sure. Two treble twenties, double ten. Look out for the tops, tops. If it's a bad lie on the treble twenty, oh. you can see the frustration. Sixty. Ian, you require twenty-five. Given White, a little bit of breathing space. Seventeen, double four. Yep, that's his usual route. Double two. Twenty-one. Oh two out of twelve on the doubles. Mensu you require eighty. Mensu, four out of eight. Of course, fifty percent. So he could find himself near, well, potentially five-two down here. Yeah. Sinovich, of course, will be throwing in the next leg for the match. One dart tops. Forty. Ian, you require four. Oh, another let off for Ian White. Has to go this time. In the madhouse. It's a great marker. No score. Meant you require 14. Five darts he's missed in this leg. 14 darts in the match already. Mr. Doubles by Ian White. Games from the seven. And all of a sudden, Matthew Sullivich is throwing for the match. And it looks like Ian White's dreadful record. But the Masters it's is not going to be lucky to seven, continue. isn't it? Eighth leg, yeah. Mensa to throw first. Game on. You are just joining us for White. This is his seventh consecutive Masters. Hasn't won a game on this stage. And you know, the doubles will win your matches. White's had a chance, but as I say, you, you know, we talked about the, the way that it doesn't happen for him in TV events. This is why. And more so in, in set play, of course, because well, you get punished even more. Miss a double in, in this format, you're a leg, about, leg behind. Potentially, you miss one in set play. In the the fifth leg, you're a, you're a whole set behind. So potentially three legs to claw back to level a match. Twenty six. Times they've played in TV events. Chris mentioned five nil to Metzler. One hundred and eighty. Perfectly timed, Ian White. As Maximum. Old pal says scores for show, doubles for dough. One hundred and forty. That's very much case in this one so far. Four legs. Three, she's got to win them all. That's three one eighties in the match. Yeah. Alter. Ian White, that's Ian White, staring down the barrel. Of a 6-2 defeat, potentially. He's left 98 after 65. nine. Ian, you require 98. You get one leg back. And it will be a break of throw. That's wild. 82. Amazed he didn't Mentsu split that. 170. With his second dart. Masulovic on 170. 134. Ian, you require 16. Two out of 17 on the doubles. Yeah, there we go. Play. One down, three to go. Ninth leg, Ian, need, to need. first. Game on. Well, three more similar to that one. That was a 13-dart break of throw. But that's the stat. Let's put him in this predicament. 17%. Pretty much a, an average leg. 174. The darts missed at a double. 15. The last three legs, 180, 180, 174 from Ian White. 140. 34. Uh, he's angry, frustrated. And he did the hard work in the opening throw and then 
Yeah. He's gifted it 100. back to Mensu, but not massively punished, only a ton. 32 behind, minus these. Finish from that position anyway. So six starts, potentially at 261 for Mensa to get it done and dusted in the tenth, in the ninth leg of this match. 125. Right, great recovery after single five with the first dart from Sullivan. And now it's White who's looking at 207 with six darts. We'll switch anyway. 137. Great Men's cover shot. 136. Oh, I missed this early on, didn't he? Ian White. Needing 70. 170. And he's going to have to take it out. Men's is going to leave tops. Ian, you require 70. To stay in the Masters in the opening match of the tournament. Hit double eight in the last leg. Got to hit it now, you feel. 54. Mens, you require 40. Though Sulevich to make it six wins out of six against Ian White in TV events. But to him to go through to round two. Wild one. Three match darts he for Mansour. His turn to be angry. Three darts in hand. Oh, certainly not a guide. Getting closer. No score. He's hit double A. On one occasion. Mr. A double. One out of seven. That is 20 darts, Mr. A double. Three from 23. Mensa joining in. Five. Six match darts for Mansour Sulevich. It's catching. 12. Mensa, you require five. Three out of 26 on the doubles, Ian White. This is Sulevich's seventh match dart. Game shot. And finally, Mansour does get the Sullivan. job done. Ian White was very, very disappointed. And it's written all over his face. The seventh consecutive first round exit at the Masters. And Mansour Sulevich. He's a winner, 6-3. He'll play Nathan Aspinall on Saturday.